What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and I'd like to welcome you guys, welcome you, and welcome you back, I should say, to WWE 2K7, my career. Now, for those of you that do not know, uh, that may have missed out on the other video I made, but um, my, my career save in 2K17 ended up corrupting. There's a known PS4 bug. Um, there's a couple of ways you can corrupt your save. Fortunately, I know about them. Uh, I believe hopefully 2k will work a patch out soon, but either way it is deal like we can deal with it uh, What happened was I essentially left my um, My game open and the career mode open During the and then put my PlayStation 4 to sleep. You can't do that You have to fully leave and then close down your your game Before you put the ps4 to sleep because apparently it has problems with saves and it tries to like sync the data and it just corrupts. So that's kind of annoying and that's what happened to me. So what we're doing, I don't let myself get kicked while I'm down. I get the hell back up and we do it again. We come back with an even better experience than before. So guys, I am going to restart the career and I'm going to do a, a few things differently that I ended up regretting on my main let's play. I felt it was kind of vanilla and not very entertaining. This time around, I am not really going to use the bonus, if there is any. I don't know if it was a one-time use. Uh, I'm not going to use the bonus for my superstar. I might improve it here and there, but I'm not going to max him out to a 92 like I did. I want him to get better with time, and I think that'll be better for all of us. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everybody for your support. I want to thank you guys for your suggestions. An overwhelming amount of people were like, Dan, just redo it. We got this. And I know you can make an even better series than before. And you know what? I've wanted to, I kind of wanted to go in a different direction because I'm kind of pissed at 2K and I'm kind of pissed at stuff right now with this. I am going heal. We're going to be a complete prick this Let's Play. And damn it, it's going to hopefully last the entire thing as Xavier is shaking his thing, trolling me basically. That's 2K's response to me uh, <laughs> losing my save file. He says they send out Xavier, Xavier Woods to just strut his stuff with a unicorn on his forehead. Can't get much more trolly than that. But anyway, we're going to get started. I'm not going to show too much editing or much uh, character creation this time around. I'm just going to kind of cut back uh, to when we have a superstar created. Physically, I might make my superstar relatively the same. Maybe a couple of different things. Maybe a different look uh, to make him more of a dick, you know. But I think in terms of facial features, hair, that sort of thing, I might keep it relatively the same. I might experiment with some other stuff. But uh, relatively, it's going to be the same. We're going to come back and we're going to have our, our tutorial started. And we're going to get this bad boy going. So anyway, we'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so my superstar has been created. It's slightly different. And the reason for that is I actually used my face. I took a picture of my face and went through their face scan kind of process. Uh, it does kind of look like me, unfortunately. The WWE 2K aspect or it isn't like the, their whole... Just simply putting an image over something else isn't really a very good way of doing it. So it does look like me for the most part. But... At the same time, I had to cover it up with hair a little bit more. Um, the hairline does come down rather low, like it sees the top of my actual hair. So I, I picked a hairstyle that looks good, uh, but still covers it up and makes sense. And same with the beard. I, I picked the beard. As you can see, there's some stubble up near the cheeks a little bit, so it still kind of makes sense there. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, and the skin tone is quite white. I'm not that white. Uh, I mean, in certain areas I am, just not my whole body. So I just tried something else, and I've had some more fun with a couple other things as well at the point where uh you know we're doing a different thing man we're going heal we're gonna be a prick as often as we possibly can that is the goal here guys i'm gonna be i'm gonna make sure of that and look at this deep deep trouble stalking from the corner there's the drop kick he's in trouble He's going to the top rope, but he hits this. It's ball game. High risk win over time, but it could be what he needs. Here we go. Coup de gras. Ball game. And that's it. That's it. What a win. And the champion will celebrate. The presentation of the championship title. John, I'll tell you one thing, that was an incredible victory for this young man. Probably the biggest of his entire career. There's nothing better in all of sports to walk into a wrestling match and walk out champion. This is weird. Tremendous ovation from this capacity crowd. But it's tonight. not, they're booing him. His peers, his friends. He doesn't have any peers. He's I look champion. so white. It looks insane. Showing their respect. Who cares? Tremendous night. 
here tonight. That is all that matters. Like unnaturally white. Is victorious. I wish you could turn down <laughs> the amount of oversaturation that takes place, you know, but you can't. So I don't know. If you guys if it, if it looks too stupid, then maybe I'll change my everything up so that it looks a little bit I just what the only thing I'm not really happy with is the skin tone. The scan doesn't look that bad. I've managed to mold it properly. But the this tone is like super white. I mean, I promise you, there's a bit more peachiness to my skin tone than that. Like, I look like Seamus out there. The problem with 2K is that once you've in. edited it, you can't change it. What you saw last night, it's not talent. It's hard work. Guys like Finn, Kevin, and Sammy, they ran the same ropes you're running. They did the same training that you are all about to do. There are no advantages like talent and luck. The only thing that will separate you from the pack is how hard you're willing to work for it. You do that, and one day you might find yourself with that same title you saw Finn holding. Okay, now pair up. I want to see what you got. So yeah, I wish I was a bit more peach because I am naturally more peach. So if you guys think I should change my body, like, because the thing is the face you can't change. I was trying to match a tone. So I look super crazy white and I just look ridiculous. But anyway, uh, I'm going to turn on. Not gameplay. What is it? Um, I need to turn on the subtitles. I'll do that as soon, when, as soon as I get a chance. Oh, not a good start. See, a lot of people were like, Dan, restart it, but don't go into tags. But the thing is, I didn't have a choice in that matter. You know what I mean? Like, they do it for you. I got locked in, and I, I didn't want to do a tag match. I know all about this stuff. The same tutorial. And the thing is, I got to recreate all my moves again. That took so long, man. But, uh. Try, oh, he's still going. Oh, big DDT. Show me something. Make it happen. What do you think I'm doing, Knob Gobbler? Go! Oh! I'm not holding up on that. I'm out of I'm out of signatures. Using those those specials, or you know what I mean, taunts. Oh! Come he's on, making me pay. Now I can't reverse it. Because I'm out of reversals. Nothing I can do but take the beating. Oh my god. Come on, reversal! Oh, we got a working hole going. Wrenching it. I'm out. See, if you, live, if you do too well, you actually don't get to go to NXT. You can do better than that. No, don't hold up. Please don't tell me I did it. Good. The gorilla press slam. Holy crap, he caught some air. Lots of it. Come on, boy. Oh, you got out of that you money. Be a WWE superstar. Now's the time to show it. He keeps repeating the same crap. Oh, that was my bad. For all we know, we could get, end up getting partnered with this guy yet again, Jaden Jet. Oh, he's going for the pin. Show me why you want to be here. Oh my god, dude. Shut your face. I got out of that, right? I did. Okay, good. I wasn't sure. Oh, just a big slap. Oh, pick up power bomb. Well, that's a default move. Ah! Okay, don't let up now. Alright, I don't know what my signature. Oh, he blocked it. So did I, though. I have no more reversals, so I gotta be careful. Trying to get that the crowd behind me, even though there's no crowd. 
Keep it up. He's liking it. He's liking what he's seeing. And the thing is, though, since I'm doing a asshole promo, oh, oh crap! No, no, I hate this move so much. No one cares how strong you are. Just slam them down. Like it just takes 20 something. years to do Make the move, and it doesn't really give you all that much damage. It's just a waste of time. This is one move I wish I kept. Before I kept the, I did the fl front flip over the head to the neck breaker there. Now move over, move that midsection. Keep it up. All right, he's gonna reverse it. Can't let him. That's an Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma slam, is it not? And I remember his finisher being just as stupid. Oh my god, he got out of it. Double reversal. Come on, kid. I haven't had to take a knee in ages. Let's try pinning him. See what happens. Nope. He's got too much. This match is going on like crazy. Let's get hype. Getting hype. Go get it. Oh no. He's out of reversals. How did that happen? This is finisher. What the? I have no idea how that happened. He's gonna pin me. I can't allow the loss. One. Nope. Okay, don't let up now. I'm fighting. Come on, bruh. Fight your way out of this cheese. Look at this guy. There we go. Now we can go up top. Come on, kid. Oh, on his back. Let's try to go for the pin. I know we didn't execute a finisher, but I'd like to try. Break. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Neck breaker. Oh, I missed. I had reversals. It wouldn't even let me. Keep it up. No. This is a crazy match. Thing is, he's out of reversals. So, as soon as I execute what I need to execute, we'll be laughing. Oh no, he's gonna get his reversal back right now. Okay, don't let up now. Uh oh, he's going up top. Come on, get up, bro. Get ready. And I missed again. It makes me look so ridiculous. There we go, belly to belly. Got a signature move. He, he's pretty hurt. Show me something. Oklahoma. Whoop! I mean that is, that one's worse than if I from what I remember, it's worse than what the finisher was. The finisher was kind of light. Here we go. It's just a big old soup. It's on his neck, but that's still kind of lame. That should do it. Okay. We should have won this. Don't let up now. There you go. Pretty good for a rookie. Your wrestling is solid, but not exciting and definitely not on the level of a WWE superstar. Over the next few weeks, we'll be working on solidifying your wrestling style. If you nail that down, we'll talk about the next steps. Now go take a break. All right, so, so I do have the kickstart. It does count. Okay, I wasn't sure. I'm gonna see options. I might actually up the difficulty to hard. It was on normal, so we'll do hard. 
Uh, subtitles will turn that on. Blood is on. Um, I might turn it on. But I might actually not max out. You know what I mean? Make my Leave my stats relatively low. That way it's more of a development base. And see what happens. I don't know if I'm uh, happy with that skin tone or the face. I mean, they got to work on their face scanning. All right, day two and the Yeti is in the ring. He just looks sick. He doesn't look normal. Okay, this is it. We want to see how you fare against a real superstar. Show us what you can do against Samoa Joe. This is your first real test, and it will tell us where you stand. So take it seriously. I might just go default style again. I don't know. They just look so bad. Like, look at look at my skin. It looks terrible. They should just borrow the stuff from 2K. Like, NBA. Okay, now it's on hard, though. Keep that in mind. We got you a different difficulty. But I'd like to be in NXT because you get a BC boost just for competing in NXT. That's important to note. Now, if I lose to Samoa Joe... Oh! Ooh, nice move. I don't actually think I'll make it into the NXT. Show me something. Make it happen. Or sorry, I think I will make it into NXT because I'm if I beat Samoa Joe, it's like something didn't you know what I mean? I can't explain it. Whoa! Oh, shoulder block. That's actually a relatively nice move. Can we pick up power bomb him? Oh, he's sitting on the ground. Oh, we're doing all right. Do you want to be a WWE superstar? Now's the time to show it. Come on, Joe. What the hell? That's all you got? Oh, no, not the same thing. Boom. Working that neck on Joseph. Samoa show Joe. Me something. Make it happen. Oh, he's up. Oh, no, I did this cheese move. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh, he got out of it. Thank God I don't have to watch it. Keep it up. For some reason, the reversals aren't working. I can't reverse right now. Oh, you know why? It's my momentum. See that negative? I can't reverse. That's why. That's kind of different. I just got to take my licks. Now I'm back in it. Look at Joe. Come on, kid. I'm down. I can't get up. Oh, Joe is rocking and rolling in Acapolin. What? What? Ah. Oh. I think I got out of that one. I'm letting Joe know. Oh, you're letting now Joe know? Now, now it's my turn, Joe. Come on. Trying to get hype. Oh, Joe. Oh, reverse. You oh, my God. I actually don't want him up. Soup's on. Soup's on, Joe. Woo! He doesn't have a reversal. Quick, do something. Nice, He's got it now. Nice. That's what we want to see. One more hit. No whammies. Ah! I don't know if this is going to work. Joe's been reversing like a boss. Come on, kid. But I think I got him. Yeah. Ooh. But look at Joe. He's still well within his means. I'm going to give it a pin. I'm going to try give a pin a try. See if that's money or not. One. Two. Nope. Joe is kicking out. Nice. Nice. That's what we want to see. Got to get him in the red before we can get anything done. 
Oh, uh, no, I think that's a reverse. Yep. Joe's beasting and feasting. Too fast. That was money. Show me something. Make it happen. He's out of reversals, though, so keep that in mind. Grab him. Bring him in. We got to win it inside. Quick, get up top. We got to we gotta do some moves. Slam it down on him. He can't reverse this yet. Keep going. There you go. Look at this. Woo! Go get it. Now we can reverse, so let's be careful. I actually did. Oh, there you go. Joe's body's in the red. He doesn't have much of a... Let's get him out of here. Show me something. Joe's out. Make it happen. This is crazy. Oh, I flipped like a knob. Got that one though. What? I dude, I got it. It was perfect. Uh oh. Oh my face. Oh, Joe's done. Joe's fed up. You can do better than that. Hit him with it quick. He's out. He doesn't have any more. He's got no reversals. Let's try and go for the pin. See if we can get him. One, two, three. That's it. That was enough. Joe's staying down. Okay, pretty good. Still room for improvement, but a decent performance nonetheless. Keep doing what you're doing, kid, and you'll be a WWE superstar in no time. Go ahead and take a break. You've earned it. I mean, I like the look of the face better than the default one because it's more like me. There is, if you, if you take my glasses off, that's kind of what I look like in a way, but it's just not perfect. It just looks silly. You know, there's like, it looks like he's been singed on the side or he's got like, he had makeup on his face, but he only wiped off a little bit of it. You see by his left eye. Anyway, we're doing self-promotion. Let's give it a whirl. Now, this is where I'm going to shine. I'm going to talk some ish. Okay. Being a WWE superstar is not just about being a good wrestler. You have to be charismatic. We're going to let you do your first promo today. We'll pretend to be the crowd. If I can give you one piece of advice, every crowd in every city is different. Putting on a good promo is all about working the crowd. Keep that in mind today. Uh, still choked that they don't, they didn't record any of the names though, or you know what I mean. All right, let's talk shit. This is, uh, I know all about this. Embrace my greatness so I can begin. Poor choice. I am the greatest, I am the best, I am perfect. I am every single positive affirmation, an amazing word you can think of. Remember that, embrace that, and let me know when y'all got it so I can start. I decide my destiny. You idiots scream and cheer for superstars that aren't even deserving to lace my boots. And for some reason, you, the people in charge listen to what you want, regardless of how stupid the decision might be. Well, I've had enough of my fate being determined by you sheep. I'm here to take control of my destiny and it starts tonight. Wow, that's savage. You will know my name. I'm wondering if I can beat anyone on any given day. All the boys in the locker room refuse to come near me because they know I can beat them on any given day. Which is why I'm offering them an opportunity. Take me on inside this ring. I don't care who it is. The bottom line is I want a match. That's... I don't... I'll take on any legend. I want to show the world I'm better than anyone they've ever seen. You know what the other WWE legends have in common with the Greek heroes of old? Their greatness is just a myth. I'm the realest thing here. You're going to see. Why does the promo performance go down? I don't understand. Oh, I still got to get in the last word, right? You, I'm trying to be copy, cocky. 
My talent outshines every superstar. I'm no longer going to be the superstar who settles for being one of the nameless faces that comes out here every week and performs with comp complacency. I'll leave that to lesser talents on the roster. My talent outshines every superstar in that locker room, and I'm ready to take the fight to them. If I have to do it, if I have to do in order to prove it once and for all. Talking some shit. But I, now I gotta do it. Now I gotta go up against uh, Enzo. Kid, you're a natural. Next week, we'll really see what you're made of. So be ready and be sure to practice up. All right, so we're going up against Enzo Amore. So hopefully I'll be able to run him down real good. I don't really understand the promos because I was following the cockiness meter there, but it still wasn't giving me a very good look, you know? It wasn't working out very well. As you can see, Enzo over there is already ready to go. Today you'll be putting on a promo against him. These promos are all about outwitting your opponent and wowing the crowd. Today, I'll play the part of the crowd, so wow me, kid. All right, this should be interesting to see how Enzo handles it. Last time I didn't do so well at this. I mean, I don't know what it is about the promos. that They just don't really seem to work. Sorry to interrupt your stump speech. Talking ish. Hey, sorry to interrupt your little stump speech here, but I've got something I need to get off my chest. I kind of wish you didn't come out here because I'm beating... Wait, because the beating I'm going to lay on you is going to embarrass you, your family, and relatives who aren't born yet. I don't like embarrassing people that badly, but in this case, I'm going to enjoy it. Do you think anyone cares? <laughs> Do you think anyone cares what you have to say? Much like your career, your words are completely pointless. Oh, snap. You might as well just pack it up and call it a life, pal, because nobody's interested in this yawn fest. That's savage. What do you got there, bruv? Listen, I know you're trying to sound like a smart guy, and I'll make sure the authority gives you a sticker, okay? There's a difference between being big with your words and big with your fists. Your firsts. And I'm going to show you the difference right now. I think they meant to, I think they meant to say fists. That's a fail. And so you just look hilarious. I'm going to use you to make my mark. I want your reputation. I've been fighting for a long time, and it's time for me to finally make my mark on WWE, and I'm going to do it using you as my instrument. I want to beat you so badly that other superstars will fear getting in my way. They won't even want to look me in the eye. Your barbaric challenge doesn't prove anything except your inferior mentality and short temper. I am confident that we could speak with the authority and have them arrange a match between us, but it'll take place once I've decided that you've earned the opportunity to compete against me. I'm just a ghost over here, dude. Meet my demands, peasant. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. If we were... <laughs> if I were like some tired WWE legends being hauled out for one last go, I'd agree with what you're asking. But I am better than those hacks. And for me, you're going to have to give me everything I want. Otherwise, I don't participate. So you ready to meet my demands, or do you want to lose out on the biggest opportunity of your life? Wow, that's savage. Love it. Are you going to talk, or are we going to have a match? I don't care, because either way, I'm walking out of the ring under my own power. But as for you, well, I wouldn't be so sure. This is the last word. You know what? Maybe a match isn't the best idea. Maybe you just need to get your ass whooped. We need to brawl, fight, beat the living hell out of one another. And if you don't want it now, that's all good, but I will find you and I will hurt you. They like that little banter. That was way better than my first time around because I talked so much ish. Talking ish is easy. All right, kid. We've made our decision. We're going to think of a persona together and start you off on the main roster See? in the tag team division. It's in need of some new talent, and I think you're exactly what the division is. See, guys? Is. I didn't choose Congratulations. that. Maybe it's because I'm being too good. I never thought of that. Maybe I'm being too good, and instead of putting me in NXT, maybe I should just suck. You need some work. Go to NXT. All right, so we finished the tutorial, and that's the funny thing. Everyone's just like, Dan, don't do tag. It's boring. Well, I didn't choose it. You know what I mean? That's how I know people didn't watch or didn't pay attention because 
I don't want to do tags yet either. I want to do NXT. I don't know if if like competing well enough, you could skip the NXT altogether. Maybe that's why. If you're good enough, it's like you don't need NXT training. You don't. Maybe that's what it's saying. But I want to go in the NXT. I want it to be a story. I don't want to just skip it because I can. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So I've gone ahead and created my wrestler. I decided to go for a more like street kind of guy. You know, he just don't give a crap. He may have been from the 90s. Some things might have given that way. He could just be a really, really pissed off hipster. We don't really know where he's from or what his roots are, but this is how he dresses. <laughs> and you know what? I actually don't mind the look. It suits him. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I'm... I, I don't know. I wanted to try something completely different. I, I mean, kind of a little bit inspired from Dean Ambrose a little bit. The whole... Because Dean Ambrose is very... You know, he's very street fighter kind of look. And he's a little bit Looney Tune. The only difference is, is we're Canadians. So we side... Uh, you know, we, we run a side gig as a lumberjack. That's the difference here. Obviously, all black. Like I said, it's like we're out of a 90s, uh, uh, I don't know, angst. Not really angst, but like a 90s hard rock band, more or less. Yeah. But I kind of like the look. So, we got the work boots. We got the plaid shirt with the cutoff sleeves partially open. And we got the black hand wraps with the black toque. Uh, and, and, of course, the blue jeans to show that we are an everyday workman. So, anyway... I think that's, I'm happy with that, and I can't wait to get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have created our superstar, and unbelievably, the first match is against John Cena, but I have an idea, and I'd like to try it. I know we're in the tag, we're in the tag running, but what I think I'm going to try is to back out of the tag running and actually join the NXT Singles Championship. I think that'd be a good time. I don't know if I really want to deal with, with this tag team, but you can be in two tags at once. You must stay in your crate until you win it. It's associated. Once you do that, you unlock the ability to go for others. See, that's kind of dumb. You shouldn't lock one in. What I'm going to attempt to do, I'm wondering if I could. I don't want to risk it. You guys are going to have to give me uh, some ideas. But if I were to back out, if I were to do a promo and say, I don't want to be with Brody Tyson, now I'm out the running, I don't have a tag partner. Is that a possibility, and will I be able to swap it out, or do I have to do it no matter what? You guys are going to have to let me know. And also, in one, the, one of the stances I picked, um, <laughs> one of the stances I picked, his eyes got messed up because of the stance, and his one eye looked like it was lazy, and his left eye was all the way looking straight, but it, or sorry, his right eye was looking all the way at John Cena, but his left eye was looking straight. It was weird, so I ended up having to switch my stance a little bit so it looks a little bit better, so I don't know what happened there, but either way, we're going to be back. You guys let me know if you've tried that. Uh, so far, I've been launched into a tag championship. Don't want to. I think it's dumb that just because you're successful, like, why does it matter if you're good? I'd like to go into NXT. So I, I was supposed to get my ass whooped at Street Hoops if I wanted to stay in NXT. That's my guess. But since I beat them every time and I, I nailed a good promo, they're like, oh, well, you should go straight to the roster. I don't know. But either way, be sure to let me know your thoughts, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, like I said. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description. I'll play at the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. It's now Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding. Tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving fire back if they ain't vibing lie with that Got me dressed up in all black What up? Hood up and I see them haters Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players Grab your respirators, night invaders get lightsabered Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn kill yeah, it was never, ever a game.